Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining us on In the Doll World. My name is Tammy Fisher. I'm your co-host, and I'm here today with my lovely co-host, Ms. Georgette Taylor. Hello, Ms. Georgette. Hello, everybody. Hi, Hello. Tammy. <laughs> <laughs> and today we have our special guest, one of our... <clears throat> One of our lovely friends, someone we're always excited to talk to, that's Miss Debbie Behan Garrett. And Debbie is here today to talk to us about her new project, which is a virtual museum. So Debbie, tell us about your new baby. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hi, thanks for having hey, me. Hey Debbie, how are you? I'm good, I'm great. <laughs> I'm happy to be here. We're happy My to have you. My new baby is uh, DBG's <laughs> Virtual Black Doll Museum and it is devoted to people who are seeking information on antique, vintage, modern, and one-of-a-kind black dolls. Um, there's also a subcategory of the vintage category, which includes vintage Barbies, vintage black Barbies. From the, uh, they range from the year of 1968 to 1980. I wanted to do an online uh, museum because initially I wanted a physical museum, um, actually, I wanted to have some of my dolls installed into the African American Museum, uh, somewhat a, a museum within a museum, where I would rotate my dolls in and out based on themes. But that didn't come to fruition, so with the uh, pandemic, I thought it would be a great idea to offer it online, because everyone is kind of sheltered mm -hmm. in place, and it would give people something to do to uh, who are interested in black dolls. So here we are. Great, that's oh, wonderful. That's really cool. Yeah, yeah. When, I, when I first heard that that's what you were doing, I was so excited and it was part of the reason is the pandemic. The other mm -hmm. is, it's like you're this walking encyclopedia of black dolls. <laughs> and it's so important that the information that you have is shared mm -hmm. because it will be a great, place for people who are interested in doll history, black doll history, to start. And it's also a great place, yeah. you know, for people to come in and to know where they can find information about dolls. We see people asking about black dolls, about dolls in general. We see people right. asking about them all the time. So thank you so much for, you know, mm -hmm. supporting the doll community by creating this this uh, museum. Oh, you're welcome. You know, it's my passion, so <laughs> it's just another way for yeah, another outlet for me to enjoy it. Thank you. Yeah, it's definitely, definitely needed, and the fact that you can do it online, I think, does make it a little bit easier than, mm -hmm. you know, than having something that's physical, because right. if people can't actually get to it, then it limits them from having that information, mm -hmm. so doing something like that online, I think, was uh, a really good choice, you know, to, to do it, and, of course, to do it during the time now where people are at home, so you, you kind of have a captured audience in a way, exactly. <laughs> so it does yeah. help. It does help right. that, so that's that. good here and available for them. Yeah. And yes, yes. The other thing is I want to make sure that you know we, we're sharing this as part of our annual World of Black Doll celebration. So we're excited to be able to introduce that during this time to not only to support the, the doll community, but to support the African American history, you know, our black history. Mm -hmm. So this is a perfect timing for us. Yeah, I so, think so. Dolls are part of our history. So. I, I've said to someone that doll history, you know, is human history. Human history is doll history. So you can't separate us whenever you go in and they, they do the, um, they do the, they do digs. They always find dolls, just some type of a doll. So they are our history. You know, we love them and have since, I assume we've been here. Yeah, since mankind, the beginning of mankind. Yes. Yeah. Very so tell cool. us a bit more about your, your library. Well, show, sorry, show us some of the dolls. Yeah. yeah. So we... Oh, okay. I, um, I set up some of the dolls that are in the, in the different categories and that are in the presentation, the uh, slideshow presentation that I'm doing. Okay. Okay. So do you, would you prefer to just do the presentation then if you don't want to? Uh, well, let me just, it's just a few. Oh, okay. a, Either one. He's my big boy. He's from the early 1900s. He's in the uh, antique doll category. He's a 29 inch big boy. And then also in the antique mm. category is this set of celluloid dolls. 
They were made in Japan. Wow. Um, they're like four inches tall. They're called the Dolly Sisters. Uh, but they're, you know, not very cool. They're kind of stereotypical <laughs> in, you mm -hmm. know, their faces are, but that's, that's, that's how mm -hmm. black people were depicted by some doll companies mm -hmm. and uh, in what, the early, early 1900s. Mm -hmm. Early 1900s, I was gonna ask when they were made, okay. This doll is from 1947. This one is from 1950. They are in the vintage uh, category. And then Would you mind picking them up so we can see them? Oh, we can't okay. really see their faces. Okay. This is uh, Patty Jo. Oh, okay. Yes. She was designed by Jackie Orms, mm. uh, African American cartoonist. Um, Jackie Orms had a, a, a oh, comic okay. strip uh, that featured a character, Patty Jo, a little girl, Patty Jo. And she collaborated, Jackie did, with the Terry Lee Doll Company to bring the doll to life. Okay. I was going to ask you what the relationship okay. was between her and Terry Lee. Mm -hmm. And then this doll, this is a wax doll from 1950, in the, she, she was made in the 1950s by Gladys McDowell. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I can get a good, her name is Tuesday. And McDowell is said, oh, to, yeah. have, mm -hmm. he is said to have made 10 Tuesday dolls. I have three. This is one of the three that I own. And she's marked on the back that she is the number one Tuesday doll. So this is the first one that the artist. Oh, wow. And then we have vintage, a vintage Barbie category. Uh, this is Malibu Christie from 1975. She has a ebony complexion. She's wearing a yellow bathing suit. And uh, mm -hmm. so she's one of the vintage dolls. Now, was she made before Kitty? Went to Mattel or after? Um, I'm not sure if Kitty okay. was there or not in 75. I think she was. Okay. I think she was there. She might have designed her. I'm not sure. Yeah, that's what, that was going to be my next question. If she was mm -hmm. there, did she design her? Mm -hmm. Well, she did design the first Black like, Barbie. Okay. And this one was released in 1979. It was on the market in 1980. Okay. But you'll be able to get a, a better look at all of these in the slideshow. Mm -hmm. Now, Miss Deja is not in right. the slideshow, mm -hmm. but she is in the pre she is in the um, <laughs> in the museum. So she's part of the hey, Deja. beautiful dolls <laughs> line designed by <laughs> our own Georgette Taylor. And Yay, Georgette! <laughs> Ernie. And she's one of three dolls, but this is the only African American one. And then there's uh, Rosa Parks Barbie. I had to put her in there. And Mother Rosa. The museum. Mm -hmm. And uh, Michelle Obama mm -hmm. by Frank and mm -hmm. Mary is in there. She's in Star. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice. And Maya Angelo. She's very hard to find now, just like. Yes, she her. is. Uh, but she said, well, oh, yeah, she is. Received an update that Walmart.com has her. Uh oh. Okay. Has her. I'm going to have to leave this meeting. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? I was just thinking, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Let me see. It's real. It's been real. <laughs> okay. One of a kind, though. She's made of polymer clay, two colors of polymer clay to form a wood grain appearance. Beautiful. Uh, because the original Hitty doll was, uh, I guess, a white doll. She is a white doll, and and she's mm -hmm. carved of a of a white, you know, a pale wood. Mm -hmm. The person who made this, Gloria Rome, did a black version, and she used uh, brown and tan, excuse me, brown and white polymer clay mixed to form the wood grain appearance. It's beautiful. And then, Gloria does wonderful dolls. That, yeah, she does. And she, she's in the uh, oak category. So she's one of a kind. Okay. And then this is another one of a kind doll, wood carved doll by Core January. Mm -hmm. All of his dolls. Oh, are wow. One. And she's in the okay. museum as well. Mm -hmm. So that's Beautiful. Wow. the ones that I have on display. And whenever mm -hmm. you. That's very cool you the uh, slideshow we can. 
JBG Search for Black Doll Museum, a WordPress site, is devoted to collectors of black dolls and to those who share a keen interest in black doll information. The goal is to install and curate 1,000 black dolls with the help of museum patrons. Doll museum installations are categorized as antique dolls from the 1800s to 1940, vintage dolls from 1941 to 1960, vintage Barbies from 1968 to 1980, modern dolls from 1961 to the present, and one-of-a-kind dolls. Curation of each installation includes at least one photograph, the doll's name, who made it and when, the material from which it was made, manufacturer's marks, height, description of hair, eyes, mouth and clothes, and other pertinent information. This presentation includes up to five examples for each museum category and brief descriptions of all categories except the vintage Barbies and the one-of-a-kind dolls. Photos of those two categories and the dolls' names are included. The first category is antique dolls. This slide illustrates the thumbnails of the five antique dolls in this presentation. Maggie Pearl named by the owner, was made by Leo Moss in the 1800s. The head is paper mache on a hard plastic body. The doll is unmarked, stands 11 inches tall, has sculpted black hair, inset dark brown glass eyes, and a smiling mouth. Maggie Pearl is redressed. The doll's original head is on a replaced body. A circa 1800s unmarked 18 inch handmade cloth doll is from the collection of Deborah Butler Johnson. This doll has black twisted yarn hair, which is possibly glued on and painted facial features with a smiling mouth that exposes painted teeth. The clothing is all original. A 1920s 18 inch composition character doll, iconic and warnicky, is from the collection of Vicki Hoff Orbs. This doll has floaty brown eyes with real eyelashes, dark brown original wig, open mouth with tongue and two upper teeth. It is dressed in modern replacement clothes. Connie, also spelled K-O-N-I-G, and Wernicke were early 1900s German doll makers. An unmarked early 1900s 25 and a half inch composition for a cloth body has a mama crier. His maker is unknown. He has black sculpted hair with a widow's peak, brown tin eyes, a smiling mouth, and two upper and two lower teeth, and a molded tongue. He has been redressed in modern clothes. The Dolly Sisters are a boxed set of five circa 1930s four inch celluloid dolls made in Japan by an unknown maker. They have sculpted hair with a pink bow on the foreheads and painted facial features. They were glued on suspender skirts made of pastel ribbons and they were painted on white socks and painted on red shoes. During the 1930s, due to its flammability, the use of celluloid was outlawed for doll making in the U.S. The next category is vintage dolls. The four dolls shown on this slide will be presented next.
Patty Joe by the Terry Lee Doll Company was made from 1947 to 1949. Made of composition like hard plastic, the doll is 16 inches tall and marked Terry Lee patent pending on the back. She has a black mannequin type wig and painted facial features. Dressed in the original Terry Lee tag of red and white check dress, matching panties, white socks, and replaced shoes. Patty Jo was inspired by African-American cartoonist Jackie Orange's comic strip character by the same name, Patty Jo. Orms collaborated with the Terry Lee Doll Company to bring the three-dimensional version of her comic strip character to life. Of note, Orms painted most of, if not all, of the Patty Jo dolls. This September 6, 1947, Patty Jo and Ginger comic strip by Jackie Orms illustrates Patty Jo and her big sister Ginger, which is captioned, but there's so much like me, sis. Just suppose an idea hits them. Kind of frightening, isn't it? The Patty Joe and Ginger comic strip ran in the African American newspaper, the Pittsburgh Courier, from 1945 to 1956. Cleverly, Jackie Orms, the illustrator and the creator of the Patty Joe doll, used the Patty Joe and Ginger comic strip to promote sales of the doll. Sarah Lee Negro Doll by Ideal Dolls was made from 1951 to 1953. The doll is all vinyl, 17 inches tall, and with a cloth round body. The doll has sculpted black hair, round sleep eyes, and a closed mouth with a molded tongue. Ideal Dolls is marked on the head. Sarah Lee wears a light blue organdy ideal tagged dress, white socks, off-white shoes, and a replaced bonnet. Marketed as the first anthropologically correct black doll in the United States, Sarah Lee was created by Sarah Lee Creech, a white woman who felt black children should have black dolls with features like their own. Eleanor Roosevelt, Zora Neale Hurston, Ralph Bunch, and Leontine Price were among the several dignitaries who were photographed with the doll and are helped promote it. Next, we have Sarah Lee's sister, whose given name by Ideal Dolls is unknown. This circa 1952, 17-inch tall, all vinyl doll bears Ideal's marks on the head and on the back. The doll has sculpted black curls and a widow's peak, brown sleep eyes with eyelashes, an open mouth with a molded tongue, and painted lips. She is redressed as illustrated. Several different head sculpts were proposed as siblings for ideal Sarah Lee Negro doll, a baby brother with a cloth body, this 17-inch all vinyl doll in this slide, and a 14-inch all-vinyl doll, redressed as a boy, have been documented as Sarah Lee's siblings by collectors who own them. A limited edition of approximately 10 dolls named Tuesday, ranging from 15 and a half to 16 inches, were made of wax with brown cloth bodies by Gladys McDowell in the 1950s. The dolls have brown rooted mohair sectioned off into braids. They have inset brown eyes and closed mouths. Dressed in turquoise or red calico or tropical fruit print dresses, the feet are there. Some Tuesdays were signed and made by the artist. The doll on the far left is marked on the back of the shoulder plate, extending onto the cloth back with the doll's name and indication that she is the first Tuesday doll made and the name of the person for whom the doll was named or given. The 
the next group of dolls are vintage Barbies and Prince. They are not individually shown in, in this presentation, but from left to right, they are Talking Christie from 1968, Talking Brad from 1970, Malibu Christie from 1975, and the first black doll named Barbie from 1979. Did you know that it took Mattel 20 years to name a black doll Barbie? Did you? The next category is modern dolls. Thumbnail images of the five modern dolls in this presentation are shown on this slide. Baby Nancy, Shandana Toy's first doll, released in 1968, is 13 inches, all vinyl with painted facial features and a drink and wet mouth. The first head sculpt shown here was released with two ponytails with short curly hair and two ponytails with bangs. Later, different head sculpts for baby Nancy were created and released. The dolls were dressed in a variety of brightly colored clothes as illustrated here. Shindana Toys, a division of Operation Bootstrap, was founded to bring jobs and revenue into the community during the aftermath of the 1965 Watts, California re revolt against police brutality. In November 2020, Baby Nancy was inducted into the National Toy Hall of Fame. This photograph is courtesy of Karen Kilburn, who has an extensive Shindana doll collection. Black and white versions of FMB 16 inch all vinyl doll Twinkie from 1968 are the last known dolls to be used by Drs. Kenneth and Mamie Clark in their doll's chests, which was first conducted during the late 1940s. The test was devised using identical dolls except for race to determine how racial segregation impacted black children. Test results usually showed that black children chose the white doll when instructed to give me the doll that you'd like to play with. Give me the doll that is a nice doll. Give me the doll that is a nice color. With most negative requests, such as give me the doll that looks bad, black children chose the black doll. The Clark's Dolls Test, also known as the Doll Test, was used in the 1954 Supreme Court decision that ruled segregated schools unconstitutional. Seely of Sally by Barbara J. Larson stands 22 inches. She has a painted and gesso cloth face and sturdily stuffed brown cloth body, arms, and legs. Her hair is made of stiffened ribbons, painted black, that worn curls. Her clothing is all original. The doll's neck bears the handwritten name C E R C A L L E Y, the artist's signature, and the 1992 year the doll was made. It's difficult to determine if the letter after the C in the doll's name is a handwritten E or a handwritten A. Michelle Obama, official White House portrait doll, was released in 2010 by the Franklin Mint. The doll is all vinyl and marked on the head TFM 2010. The hair is a black wig. The painted facial features capture Mrs. Obama's likeness. Dressed in a black sheet, pearl stud earrings, double strand pearl necklace, 
full tone wristwatch and black low heel pumps, a hang tag, certificate of authenticity, and a personalized bell stain were included. One of several dolls in Mattel's Inspiring Women series, Rosa Parks Barbie, released in 2019, commemorates Mrs. Parks' refusal to give up her bus seat to a white passenger on a Montgomery, Alabama bus on December 1, 1955. Her civil rights activism led to the Montgomery bus boycott that resulted in desegregation of the city's buses. The doll is dressed in period appropriate clothes, wears eyeglasses, and has a doll stand and a certificate of authenticity. The last category presented is one of a kind dolls, shown in pictures from left to right, the first set of three dolls was carved from wood by Core January. They are an 11 inch boy named after the artist, an eight inch doll named Izzy, and a 14 inch doll named Libby. Dressed in original clothes, they were made in 2002, 2015, and 2014 respectively. In the middle photo, a six and a half inch Hitu by Gloria Y. Rome was made in 2016 using a combination of brown and white polymer clay to get the appearance of wood grain. On the far right, made of polymer clay in 2010 by Teresa Churcher of England is a seven inch mini baby doll that holds a three inch doll. This concludes the presentation of BBG's Virtual Black Doll Museum, which is open 24-7 at virtualblackdollmuseum.wordpress.com. Please visit the site at your earliest convenience. Add your email address to the Follow This Law field to receive emailed updates. And please share the URL with your social media contacts and other doll enthusiasts. Please also consider becoming a contributing patron. Monetary support will help defray the cost of upgrading the site's storage capacity and the continued maintenance and administrative costs. PayPal donations may be submitted using the link on the home page. You may also email virtualblackdollmuseum at gmail.com for additional ways to contribute. Thank you for watching and thank you for your support. That's it. That was good. I loved it. It was perfect. Oh, and no. I love the descriptions mm -hmm. and the names. So part of the reason that we're doing this, we're doing, the, well, you, you know, we've invited people to do a video share mm -hmm. for this month is I think that people think, a lot of people think that the only black dolls out there are the ones that they're seeing on the shelves. And they're, right. that's a teeny percentage of the dolls. Mm -hmm. And so it's important for people to know that there are other dolls and to get some names of the artists so that they can reach out to the artists and you know, patronize the artists and find some other dolls you know, that they can add to their collections. Well, a lot of people do too also think the dolls are just for children. They mm -hmm. don't realize that there is a market for adult collectors, um, but we're here, alive yes. and well. Mm -hmm. Yes, and all over the world. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. true. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's true. And it's interesting. Like I, I, I didn't know that there was a cartoonist, you know, mm -hmm. that was you didn't. that was creating mm -hmm. cartoons like that, you know, mm -hmm. and and then had dolls made out of that cartoon. So right. I mean, the information is just so needed, and I think it's so warranted to to showcase the you know the talents of african americans and and creating dolls that represent who they are you mm -hmm. know or representing a, a, a different facet of who we are as people you know right. and so i think yeah 
I think that was great. Yeah, it was mm-hmm. really great. Thank you so much for sharing that. You're welcome. Yeah, that was really nice. Mm-hmm. I have a, a question for you. Do you know of any black dolls that were made before the 1800s? No. Okay, I, I just wondering. I don't. Okay. You know, they the, the oldest ones were probably mm-hmm. cloth, handmade cloth dolls that people mm-hmm. made for their children or they made after their servants or things like that. But to oh, okay. factor dolls before the 1800s, I, I don't know of any. Okay. I just All want right. to invite people to visit the uh, museum at virtualblackdollmuseum.wordpress.com. If they have any questions, they can email me at virtualblackdollmuseum uh, at gmail.com. Okay, that's great. And if okay. I understand correctly, you are accepting monetary donations yeah. to help support the museum. Yeah. The other thing that, if I um, understood correctly, you're asking for people to take pictures of their dolls and submit them. Yes, I'm. I'm asking them to email me for the for the guidelines because I okay. can't accept any picture. It has to uh, follow certain guidelines. It has to be a solid background and with the focus on the doll. Okay. Um, so if they'll email, if they're interested in having their dolls installed. I, I really need the antique dolls, antique black dolls. They can email me and I can give them the specifics on how to do that. Okay, that's wonderful. Thank you, Tammy. Thank you. Okay. That's good. Yeah, thank you yeah. for sharing. Yeah, thank you for joining us in, on In the Doll World. All right, thank All you. All right, take care until later. Bye, okay. sweetie. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.